a young man gone much too soon, but having left several lifetimes worth of memories. He's down. Got him, buddy. <laughs> got I just shot your deer, buddy. <gasps> oh my god, I'm gonna drop this ball. Our brother, friend, guide, and mentor. Congratulations, I was running the, I was back there, I didn't get to shake your hand. One of the original that helped start it all. He's a giant. He walked out and I was like, oh lord. Broad daylight. Big deer. Oh. Big buck down. Welcome to Canadian Whitetail Television. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just want to go out there so bad. Success in the deer woods doesn't come easy. You can't buy it. You have to earn it. You can choose your own results through a year of work, adventure, preparation, and scouting, a lifetime of learning, and even a bit of luck. All of this gives us opportunity, the opportunity to dream that all of the work, practice, and dedication might pay off, and to share that dream with the next generation, and to head into a stand with that dream that at any given moment you may have earned the chance to spend just a moment in time with a legend. Stealth Cam presents Dean Partridge's Canadian Whitetail. Brought to you by Ozonix, Undetectable, Undeniable, Excalibur Crossbow, the most durable and accurate crossbows on Earth, the Heater Bodysuit, the ultimate cold weather hunting garment, Nocturnal Lighted Knocks, Switch on Accuracy and Let It Glow, the Raculator, Score Your Trophy Fast, Easy and Accurate. Glendale, the biggest and toughest 3D targets in the universe. Big and J attractants. The aroma is super strong. The range is super long. Muddy, serious gear for serious hunters. New archery products. Hunt with confidence. Hoyman, your land, your legacy. Tacticam, share your hunt. Old timer knives, built for generations. And by Stealth Cam. Proven reliability, proven quality, proven performance. Losing Jason, the impact it's had on my family, our hunting family, not to mention his own family, is unmeasurable. Through this experience, we've learned a lot about appreciation and value, valuing people, valuing the time that we get to spend with those that we love. The first three episodes of the season are the hardest we've ever produced. Episodes two and three being Colin Bailey's hunts just weeks after losing their dad. They were crushing as a producer, as a friend, and simply as a human. We put those two shows together before Jason's episode, this week's episode, and that led us to the decision that this week's show is not gonna be about sadness, not about missing someone, rather appreciating Jason for the hunter he was and the friend that he'll always be. And although the footage might be a little bit old and sketchy, for me that all started over a decade ago when I first invited Jason to come share a deer stand. I'd invited Jason to come shoot an old management buck and much to my shock, the first deer on the scene was my personal target buck. Dean, right here. Big buck, big buck. After a lot of reassurance from me that it was okay, Jason was ready to shoot. And I couldn't have been more excited to be capturing it all. He's down. Got him, buddy. <laughs> you got I just shot your deer, buddy. You got spiky. <gasps> Oh my god, I'm gonna drop this there's, board. There's, there's a hitcher right there, right? Eh? You sit. You I sit, just. Sit. I can't thank you enough, buddy. I just shot your deer. Yes. That's all right, eh? Oh! <laughs> he's a pig! 
Oh, jeez. Oh, well, I'm sorry for shooting yeah. your deer, but. Hey, that's why we're sitting here, man. Way to go. That's awesome. Oh, thanks, buddy. I can't. Footage and trail camera pictures of that deer for, well, for five Well, I can't, man. No, I really appreciate you taking us out. Had a blast. Well, that's so. what we live for. It's what I live for, yeah. whitetails. Yeah. Uh, well, we all, I think we all know that. <laughs> you want to go caribou hunting? Nope. You want to go mule deer hunting? Nope. You want to go moose hunting? Nope. What do you want to do? I want to go whitetail hunting. Deer were all I knew, and after this day, we both realized no one was greedy. It wasn't about us, it was about these animals. It was about sharing these experiences, both amongst ourselves and across the platforms that we've been blessed with. And Jason succeeded in getting me out of my comfort zone and experiencing hunts all over the world, ticking off my bucket list one adventure at a time. And on all these adventures, Jason always made sure, even insisted, that I shot first. We're up here hunting musk ox. Now, it's not just the musk ox hunt Dean and I had come up here, here to experience. It's the whole Inuit culture. This is where we get to ride for about another 60 miles. Here we go! <laughs> and for all those that think eight days in an igloo is fun, this photo is for you. And fun it's not. But an incredible experience to share with my friend Jason. I lost, I lost the paper, rock, scissors, so Dean gets to shoot first. So. Oh, come on now, you can shoot. No, I'm not. I lost. Shoot him. Yeah, I did. Can't believe how big he is. Should have been shooting, I should have been running the camera. I should have been... Uh... Me hunting second, but uh, no, no, no. We got lots of time yet. From one end of the world to the next, I was so fortunate to have Jason as a personal guide, advisor, cameraman, and friend there on each adventure. Jason's reward, as always, was just being able to put out that signature congratulatory line to whomever he was with, of yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. It's a dream hunt, that's for sure. And thanks to Jason too, yeah. trying to put everything together. And... On these trips, I was also able to film Jason take some of the largest, most incredible animals in the world and experience firsthand what it was to hunt with a legend, as did so many of our friends. This segment brought to you by AAE. Innovation and integrity is in our blood. Quality and dependability is in our products. This segment of Canadian Whitetail has been brought to you by BOG. More than just a shooting rest. BOG, engineered for the unknown. No matter where the adventures took Jason, home is where the heart is, and that was Saskatchewan Whitetails. And it was only fitting for the first episode of Canadian Whitetail that we took Jason out and filmed him shoot the biggest deer of his life, a 205 inch giant. The giant old buck that we called Blades had come to the edge of the field and started to make his way towards us. We always hunt the wind, but this was one of those times that we were so thankful we had the Ozonics running. We'd expected Blades to enter the field from the east, but instead he had appeared from the south-southwest, crossing our wind, and when he stopped to check the wind, we were extremely relieved when he just carried on.
Yeah. I'm shaking so bad. I don't know what to say. That is a giant. He's a giant. He walked out and I was like, oh lord. Broad daylight. Big deer. Oh. Big buck down. Welcome to Canadian Whitetail Television. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just want to go out there so bad. He tipped. I seen him tip. Anyway, congratulations. I think, thanks, thanks, buddy. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate everything. Yeah. Cool. Well, let's get him loaded. And There's a class of discussion. Right now. That is. And that was only part of a string of giants that Jason would take while hunting with us. We had him come out. We thought it was real low camera light. It was actually, I'd been messing around with the settings on the camera a couple days before, and the light was fine. It was actually really good light when he came out. But we passed him up, and it wasn't until about almost a month later when I got my second chance at him, and I had Dean behind the camera. Watch this. Now Jason knew this was a big deer. He knew it was a shooter. There was only one problem. Steve that was running the camera said there wasn't enough light to shoot. Jason thought it was odd that the camera light was already gone, but the cameraman is always the boss, so they were forced to pass. Although the footage would have been much nicer, the first time that Jason had the opportunity at him, he wasn't about to let the big boy walk twice. Big deer. You and I filmed about a month ago yep. out in the alfalfa about 200 yards to the side when we're catching them out in the alfalfa. That's what sucks about being a cameraman is you don't get to be here. Look at the mass on this thing. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Oh. Fantastic deer. Congratulations. I was running the, I was back there. I didn't get to shake your hand. Jason had a great 175 inch class buck out in the plot, and when that buck snapped his head up to look back, Jason immediately recognized who was coming. There was no doubt that Jason was a killer and anything that he set his sights on, including the 188 inch G2 buck, was in big trouble. Deer, honest to God, right now before before we thank anybody, I got to thank Dean, Steve, Taylor, all the kids. Dean Dean pretty much broke this food plot two or three years ago. He's a great deer. We got him out here. I got my tags cut right behind me. We're gonna get a tag on him. Take him to the skin and shed. The only thing that Jason maybe enjoyed more than the hunt was the fun in the skinning shed after telling old stories and making new ones. This segment of Canadian Whitetail has been brought to you by Glendell, the only 3D target with a replaceable four-sided core. Glendell, the biggest and toughest 3D targets in the universe. Canadian Whitetail has also been brought to you by Central Boiler Outdoor Furnaces, the ultimate wood heat, Black Eagle Arrows, superior carbon technology, Thermoseed, stay outdoors, Tinks, makers of the world's finest deer lures and scents, Elite Archery, the world's most shootable bow, Custom Bow Equipment, and Scott Archery. A few years back, we finally bought our own outfitting area to share hunts with clients from all across the world which also slowed our deer hunting together as Jason was always busy at the lodge in the fall. But that didn't keep Jason from continuing on hunting great whitetails. It just shifted those hunts to the North Country. I look up and there's, I got a couple bucks in front of me and here he comes. You know, the, the deer that I want to get a look at is coming down the, down the trail right towards us. It's crazy. 
crazy. Just a, oh, just a big brute of a deer. Big chocolate beams splits and drops. The buck is a deer born in any whitetail hunter's dreams. Quartering away at under 19 yards, Jason settles his Excalibur Micro to make his shot count. this deer holy northern saskatchewan has treated me well again welcome to this week's canadian whitetail scouting segment locate learn set up hunt brought to you by muddy outdoors this week's scouting segment is maybe more of a public service announcement that's just don't get so stressed out I and mean, we're seeing it now every day on social media and other platforms how much pressure there is for people to be shooting big deer, hunting big deer, and if it's not a big enough deer, it's not good enough. And it's, it's all ridiculous and it's eroding the core of our sport and that's just enjoying the deer woods, enjoying these incredible animals. There are about a million tips on how to kill a big deer and we have probably a million and one and we've put them all out there. But at the core of that all, if you love being in the field, you love putting the time in, it's going to come together. When you're after a certain buck and things aren't going well, that's just an opportunity to learn. It's not an opportunity to get upset. It's not an opportunity to get frustrated. Take what you learn hunting there, apply it to the next time and the next time, and you're going to find success. If you spend time in the field, you learn every time you're out there, you're going to find success and you're going to enjoy yourself. And there's a natural evolution to hunting. And, and that natural evolution to a hunter is something that we're trying to skip these days. You know, we've got young people that are worried about shooting a deer because it's not old enough. Well, that's for me, I'm 40 years old. I can worry about waiting to watch that deer mature because I've shot 30 white tails. For that kid, he's out there, he's just supposed to be having fun. He's supposed to be enjoying the deer woods. And if a deer walks down the path and his heart's beating out of his chest, that's the deer he's supposed to shoot, whether it's two years old or nine years old. And that's your Canadian Whitetail Scouting segment for the week. This week's Canadian Whitetail Scouting segment has been brought to you by Muddy Outdoors. Share your own muddy moment. This segment has been brought to you by the Heater Body Suit. The Heater Body Suit is the ultimate cold weather hunting garment that allows you to stay on stand longer and sit comfortably. The Heater Body Suit. You stay warm or your money back. Got a big buck up. I think it's our next buck next. And there on morning four, weaving through the timber, is the 6x6 that Jason's been waiting for. He's down right there. Holy! But he's got all kinds of stickers and just a cool old bush buck. Huge body. It's not really all the, about the antlers for me. It's it's about getting out and, and enjoying northern Saskatchewan or wherever we're hunting whitetails. I don't think anyone expected that to be the last big buck down Jason's path here on Earth. And it's showing us to be careful of expectations and to enjoy every single moment. To us, he was a friend, a brother, a mentor, a legend. And that's just a grain of sand in Jason's overflowing jar, which is filled mostly by his own family, his children, Cole and Bailey. And that's the next two weeks' episodes. They're hard to watch, and they're even harder to put together. But it shows us who Jason really was, and what he really meant to those most important in his life, and what the Deerwoods can do to help heal. For me and the rest of Jason's friends now, it's not goodbye. It's just a waiting game. As I know wherever Jason is, he's scouting and setting up stands for our next hunt together for that next big buck down the path and the next time he gets to say, yeah, you did. And from all of us, Jason, thank you. 
thank you for being a friend, a mentor, and a guide. And I know we'll share a deer stand together again one day. I know that you'll shoot the deer I'm after again one day. And I also know that you'll be out hunting and make sure whoever you're hunting with shoots first again one day. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Canadian Whitetail. This segment has been brought to you by Wild Edge and the ultimate climbing system, the Stepladder. Safely design your climb in any tree, anywhere, with the most versatile, lightweight, and compact climbing system, the Stepladder. Canadian Whitetail has also been brought to you by these fine sponsors, 